Hello students, today I am telling you one of the very important concept in research that is research paradigms. So there are basically three types of paradigms, positivism, post-positivism, interpretivism. According to Cresswell, this classification can go to four research paradigms or maybe the five. However, I am focusing only on three paradigms which are the basic paradigms in research. The later paradigms may be the extension of these paradigms. Before understanding what paradigm is or what the three paradigms belong to, it is very important to learn three important terminologies related to research philosophy and research. So, According to research philosophy, these are the three important terminologies. The first one is ontology. Ontology means what exists. The second thing which is called epistemology is basically a relationship between a researcher and a reality. So when there is developed a relationship between reality and a researcher, we call this concept as epistemology. The third concept in research philosophy is methodology or methods. That means how we go discovering and creating knowledge or which methods we adopt to find out the reality. Now I am telling you the first paradigm which is called positivism. Basically, positivism originally attributed to Auguste Comte who is also called the father of positivism. First of all, he has given the concept of positivism. Finally, the standard positivism paradigm developed in mid 20th century. Basically, this paradigm rejected the notion that society was beyond our physical perception and could not be examined in the same way as natural objects could be examined. So he was of view that we can see the social reality as we can see the physical reality. So there is no difference between the physical reality and the social reality. So in this paradigm, the ontological belief is that this paradigm or the people belong to this paradigm believe in tangible social reality, that it exists like natural reality. Their epistemological concept is that that investigator and investigated are independent of each other, which means there is no relationship between their reality and the researcher. So they do not influence on each other. Then the methodology in this paradigm is basically quantitative, where they believe in hypothesis testing, variables identification, before the investigation and using quantitative measures of research. Basically, in this paradigm, the purpose is prediction, control on variables, explanation of variables, formulation of general laws. The next paradigm is post-positivism. Post-positivism was as much a reaction to the feelings of positivism as it was to a shift in the emerging changes. There was a shift that there is no longer possible to study the natural world from a mechanistic viewpoint. Then it was certainly no longer possible to study social facts in that way. The believers of this paradigm thought that it is not possible to see a single reality as we can see the natural reality, then it was no longer possible to prove a hypothesis. Sometimes a hypothesis can be rejected as it could never be certain that an alternate explanation did not exist for relationship between the variables. The ontological belief of this paradigm is they believe in social reality, that it exists like natural reality, however, imperfections are there. They also believe like the people believe in positivism paradigm, however, they also believe in the imperfections which can exist in research. Their epistemology was that, that investigator and investigated, which is reality, 
are not independent of each other however objectivity can be seen then the methodology these people used is mixed methodology which is based on quantitative and qualitative these people also believe in hypothesis testing and they actually believe on the context of research field the purpose of this paradigm is basically prediction control explanation and making generalizations because they collect both type of data qualitative and quantitative therefore they largely believe in making generalizations the third paradigm is interpretivism in 1883 wilhelm delthi published the first critique it started a philosophical debate on the difference between understanding human thought and explaining nature he believes that it is no longer possible to study the social reality as well as this natural reality the first proponent of empirical interpretivism was max weber major works have been done by glaser and strauss in 1967 There are many books published by these author which are believers of interpretivism paradigm. The ontology in this paradigm is the belief in multiple realities. They thought that there is no single reality. If you wanted to look at a reality, you need to have a look on multiple perspectives. They also believe in time and context bound reality. which means if the context changes the reality must be changed then their epistemology belief is that there is a relationship between a reality and the investigator or the researcher that means researcher influence on the reality or on the research their methodology is qualitative each reality is interpreted by the investigator they believe on the strong role of researcher in qualitative research The purpose of this type of paradigm is transfer of findings. Here they don't believe on generalizations or making generalizations from the data. They believe that findings can be transferred from one context to the similar context. I hope you understood the basic three paradigms of research. If you have any questions, do write in comment box and I'll get back to you soon.